and welcome to Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. My name's Daisy Savage, and today I'm joined by We Are Goose. How are you today? Very well, thank yes. you. Hello. <laughs> and could you tell us a bit about your show, please? Yes, so our show is a musical comedy about 18th century surgery and body snatching, complete with songs, games, and a nine foot puppet. But importantly, it's telling a true story about a man who we're a little bit obsessed about. Oh, he's amazing, he's amazing. John Hunter. <laughs> John Hunter, he's an 18th century surgeon and anatomist. He was responsible for huge, really important uh, changes in medicine and surgery that's still in use today. But most importantly, and funnest for us, he was a bit insane. So we decided he was a good subject for a sort of musical presentation <laughs> uh, so yeah I mean really it was just about about educating the audience as much mm. as possible because it was about trying to pass on our excitement about the subject yeah. but but also put it across in a way that isn't quite as dark as the subject matter could have made it so yeah. it's really fun and really upbeat so how did you two meet Oh, we just wanted to know each other for too long, really. Too long. Uh, we went to school together um, and we probably met when we were 14 or something, yeah. which is far too many years ago. And then we were in a proper band, mm. uh, like a serious band, but um, what happened is I am too much of a megalomaniac and um, it stopped being a band and it became more about the opportunity for me to dress up in front of people. <laughs> and it did make it difficult. Yeah, and so what happened is Richard kept a serious band and then we started just doing stuff which lets me dress up in front of people, which is a bit more fun. The Fringe is a great place to be able to do that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And so what do you think about being at the Fringe so far? Well, this is our first uh, ever one-hour show, doing it for the whole month. We've been up the last two years and done little slots in uh, review shows, uh, but only for kind of a week at a time. Um, and that's been quite, really quite cushy for us because we just turn up once a day and do a little 10-minute slot and that's it. We don't worry about promoting or flying. So this year has been a lot more stressful. It's, it's exhausting. <laughs> it's so tiring. It's so it's so tiring. I mean, it's brilliant. I'm having mm. such a good time. Oh, yeah. And it's amazing to just go off and and do the show every day but at the same time oh you're doing the show every day it's yeah. it's a uh, it's a whole new thing for us sort of the longest run we'd ever really done prior to this was a week yeah, so yeah like six nights so doing 25 something <laughs> yeah. is, uh, it's a new experience but yeah it's fun cool. yeah. well would you like to give us a song from your yeah. show yeah Excellent. so to put this into context um John Hunter lived in a house in Earl's Court, which back then was the countryside. Oh, and he lived there with loads of animals, which he was basically keeping them as pets until they died so that he could cut them up and study them. Yeah. This is a song about all of his pets. It's called We Hate Your Pets. It has a bit of swearing in it, just Ooh. in case you're worried. Earl's Court, once upon a time, was not a place where the district line connected to the Piccadilly line. It was a village, quiet and sleepy. They lived in the olden days. They had their little village ways of chores, and church, and mama's plays. Morris dancing wasn't seen as creepy. So imagine their surprise when Hunter moved in his estate. Couldn't quite believe their eyes, the beast that lived beyond the gate. You say you've got pets, well whoop the fucking do You got a cat or dog or goldfish, a tortoise or cockatoo Who cares, boring normal pets, shun from every zoo John Hunter's 20,000 times better than you Tell him, Tim Cause he had Asiatic buffalo, two leopards and slugs Cub and bees and mountain goats, a smorgasbord of bugs He had a camel, dog, he's ever a pig, a sheep and mice and fowl Jackal and a hawk, a pigeon and an owl But he didn't have a lion He had a wolf called Lion A wolf is not a lion He had an actual lion Every time Right, why has he got an actual lion and a wolf that's filmed. called Lion? It's, this is really embarrassing stupid, but look, you've the song. It's fine, we can fix it, I know we know this You say you've got pets Well, what, what do you fucking do? do? You got a cat, a dog, a goldfish, a tortoise, a cocker too. Your dog is the worst. We spit on your dog's shoe. John Hunter's 20,000 times better than you. He had a pig with two bodies, a cow with an extra leg. He had a kitten with two mouths, several snakes with two heads, two-tailed lizard and a three-legged lamb, and a duck whose leg protruded from his brain pan. Head, leg, duck. Hunter's great gifted head and neck above a all. Part camel, part leopard, impossibly right. tall. Richard! Bring it down for them all! The camel leopard was impossibly tall and would feast for hours from the tops of the trees. It was like nothing the residents of Earl's Court had ever seen before. Yeah! <laughs> you say you got pets. Well, what do you fucking do? You got a cat, a dog, a goldfish, 
wish your daughter so cockatoo. Well, we've got your hamsters. We're going to put them in a stew. John Hunter's 20,000 times better than you. There we go. That was a you. test for your levels there, yeah. wasn't it? Great, <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. When and where is it? So our show is at the Underbelly uh, on uh, Cowgate, and it's at 9pm every day apart from the 12th, and it's called Will You Hold My Hand? Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.